Right now we're on campus at New Haven for our second immersion and we're using the simulation labs to practice hands-on physical skills. We know each other digitally and we're all very connected through that, but like seeing each other in person is really cool. We've seen videos and we've read things in textbooks. I know that I need this experience before I go out on clinicals. The more things that I have exposure to, the better I'll be able to look and perform when I'm out in clinical rotations for next year. The professors, the staff, even the students, the support we get from each other is just amazing. Our faculty, they really want us to succeed. I know that if I were really struggling with anything, that I would be able to reach out to any one of them and I'm going to get a very compassionate answer and that's a very comforting feeling. You're going to go straight in at a 90 degree angle, you put the needle in to something that you used to say, pull back on it and make sure you don't get it. I think that it's just been a really great day. I'm ready to go back in the Zim Lab and kind of see what else I can build on and work on for myself. This afternoon, um, I definitely want to learn the ultrasound. The ultrasound. The ultrasound. Because I've never done one before. I've seen it in the ER when I drop off patients, but I've never actually got to do it myself. But to actually get a chance to look at it is kind of going to be cool. Ultrasound is basically, like think about when you're listening to the radio. One of the things about ultrasound is it's a little abstract watching the students' faces when they actually see, oh, this is free fluid, this is blood. It's really exciting to see that. It's reflecting in, and then it's coming I was on the table, and they were doing the ultrasound on me, and they're like, hey, you got a gallbladder and a liver. And then uh, one of our classmates who's pregnant walked in, and they're like, Casey, get off the table. Fine. Okay, we're already Look at his leg. Is that yeah. really cold? He's got three legs. Go down. That's his spine. I was down the hall, it was between breaks, and I hear that there's a baby in the other room. You could see like the spinal cord, you could sometimes get glimpses of the heart, and it was just so awesome just to actually see that, like the stuff in textbooks was coming to life. I cannot wait for clinicals. I think one of the biggest takeaways that I had today was that anytime you're offered a chance to do a procedure, no matter how confident you feel about your current proficiency, that you should dive in. It gives you that little push to say to your preceptors in clinical rotations, like, I'm ready to go. It just gives you that boost of confidence to be able to go out there and really perform at your best.